Y'all know what day it is. I even have to say it. Finally, Friday, because today is Snap on Friday. There he is, right there. The one and only Snap on Friday man, Jovan Hamilton. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Today is Friday. Uh oh. I don't have the heater going or it fell off one. No, I need to unplug it. It got warm in here now. Hey, what's you doing back here with a DPF unit? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy of mine. Pre planning does. or something? <laughs> what's that? Pre planning? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy of mine does hot shot driving. Well, his truck is deleted. Yeah? Well, was deleted. <laughs> it's going back to factory now. Uh oh. He got busted in North Carolina. He said he pulled up at a way station. He said loaded down. He said there's two hot shotters in front of him, and he said there's a few behind him. He don't remember. He said, but he, he said there was two in front of me for sure. He said I don't remember. He said there were some big trucks in front of them, and he said that when we was coming in, he said that we didn't even go through the scales. They had the scales blocked off, and guys and out there pointing everybody to the left. And they was going on around the back. And he said that, he said, I never knew what they was doing. He said, they went to one truck, a big truck, hooked up to them, stood there, he said, maybe five minutes, and they jumped off the truck and sent them on down the road. He said, anyway, got to the hot shot guys, he just checked the first one, two, three minutes, sent them down the road. Got to the next one, two, three minutes, sent them down the road. He said, he came back to my truck. He said, hooked it up. He said, I was looking at the screen with them. He said, he looked at the screen. He looked at me. He said, he looked at the screen. He said, I need you to pull over the uh, pit over here. Uh-oh. He said, he said, right then, when they asked him to pull over the pit, and he said, he's saying on the screen where it's talking about the uh, uh, DPF and uh, SSR or something. SCR. Uh, SCR. Yeah. He said, all that stuff was going off, 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 off. He said, I, he said, it was over with then. He said, I pulled over the pit, and the guy was back there, and he walked under it, came back out, and he just grabbed the book and walked towards his office. He said, we'll be right back. He said, they, he said, them son guns lied. He said, they wouldn't write back. He said, I said, out there, he said, it felt like for two or three hours. He said, it was a good 30 minutes. So. Oh, man. He said, the fines is over about 5,000. That looks like a Dodge. Yep, he got a Dodge yep. uh, 3,500 flatbed. Yep. I think his is like a 14 model. And uh, mm -mm. he said, he'd been in North Carolina thousands of times. And I was pulled in and go straight over the way station and keep on going you know it's always that one time it gets you yeah he said that uh the thing said this somewhere around five thousand he got a court date also he said that the uh because he asked like he called like can i just pay these they said no you gotta come to the court date mm. he said so he's a little nervous now he said but they told him that they would highly recommend that he uh to be all back factory and with the death and everything back on it when he comes back. That's expensive right there. Yeah. Oh well, it happens. So I got that for him for 40 bucks. So. That's cheap. Well, he said the guy I got it from said that they can't even use them, the trucks they pull them off of. He said, because you can't sell them. He said, they're scrap all they are. Wow. He said, now Cadillac converters, he said, if you got them, he said, we'll get seven, eight hundred dollars a piece on them. He said, but for the uh, <laughs> DPF unit, he said, they ain't worth nothing. Good for your buddy, at least. Yeah, I'll charge him a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheaper than he'll get it anywhere else. Yeah, well, brand new ones, I think they're six or seven hundred. From what he said, he found them for six or seven hundred, but I, I still thought that was an aftermarket unit. I bet no uh, mm. factory wouldn't be that. Oh, well. And he still has to buy the uh, knock sensors and the. Mm, the the knock sensors is high. That's going to be too. 450, because I just <laughs> bought one of them. I know them as they are. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to have the inlet and the outlet locks. Mm -hmm. Where you see, there's only one sensor on there. The other one is off, the O2's off. Yep. And the uh, doser valve. The, He's gonna spend some money on that. The doser valve ain't even on it. Oh well. 
That's what happens. I guess if you're on hot shot, don't be a hot shot in North Carolina. North Carolina. We got a, a new set of pliers in this week. We ordered a bunch of Nipex stuff. Uh, the number on them would be the KNX 8741250. We'll try them on like right here and just see how they would. I'll be darned. Yeah, I Things will grip, won't they? Grab right on the hold of it pretty good. Even like just barely getting on there right there still. Hmm. Get some good grip. What's the price of them jokers? Let me look them up and see real Bad. fast. So I bought like a set of these, the red ones, <laughs> and then I bought a couple individual ones. So now, instead of just buying two sets like a dummy, I buy each one of them individual again to put to put in another one of my pickups. So it'd be cheaper to buy the set. Probably. <laughs> These are fifty-six dollars and twenty or thirty-eight cents. Fifty-six thirty-eight. Bad. Cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. I figured it'd gonna be about seventy-five. Yeah. Those are interesting looking for they sure. Are, they do look like a dang parrot, though. Mm -hmm. When I first seen them, I was like, it was like a dang battery cable, side post battery yeah. pliers. And it'd probably work on the, it'd be a pretty, I don't think it'd work on them, but things don't close up far enough. Definitely different. Yeah. Were you done trading in, somebody traded in a Matco gun? Mm hmm. Which one is that, the 2769? I don't even know. 1769. Good shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the glitter. Yeah. I don't know if it's glitter or bubbles. I don't know. That's very good shape, bro. It is. It looks new. Well, got a big Milwaukee up there. Ordered that for somebody. They'll be ready for that bad boy today. What you got down there in the red box? Which one? That red box. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. Yeah. A uh, Chrysler OEM harmonic balancer puller. Oh. This was a trade in, this was a while back. And the guy bought the snap on one. I gave him 40 bucks on this one on trade in. Oh, I remember that. And you yeah. buy it new for $23. <laughs> look at all that money you made off that snap on one, though. That's why you got to look at it. You still did good. I guarantee you. Yeah, well, actually, well, he, uh, I let somebody borrow that one the other day. They wanted to borrow a buddy of mine was, uh, he bought a wrecked, what was it? I, I can't remember, Challenger or something, but they pulled the motor and transmission and stuff out of it. Well, the uh, harmonic balancer was chipped. It was hit head on, and they broke the harmonic balancer. And they used it getting it off. I'm not, I don't know if they got it off or not, but he brought it, it back. Didn't damage nothing inside the motor? He said they pulled the oil pan and everything off of it. Well, I'd be worried about I said, about if it that. broke the harmonic balancer, I probably wouldn't even mess with I it. I wouldn't either. I'd be like, I don't know about this, Hoss. Yeah. He said they spun it over, uh, like, on the engine stand and stuff, and everything yeah. went smoothly. I said, yeah, so that's, that's at uh, less than a half of RPM, you know? I mean, <laughs> yeah. where'd you get to around three or 4,000 RPM and see what it does? Yeah, it'd be but, surprising. I bet it ticks. It ticks I, anyway. Like Yeah, when you, you <laughs> cold start a Hemi, they're going to make a, a tick. Well, now with all that DOD junk, the way they got them in them, all of them's ticking. Well, right? They can't be like a normal V8. <laughs> the, uh, I don't know this, but the lifters and stuff on them move. They slide on the lifter rail. They got over a quarter inch of play on the lifter rail. That's got to be good for them. Well, you know, uh, well, you know James Green from yeah, Mobile. He's the best around. He's, he's a, working on I mean, he's a Dodge stuff. guy. He said that. Uh, he says terrible design. He said, but I love it. You know, we got a parking lot full of them out here. So. <laughs> That's true. He said. He, he said he's a, a good guy too. Oh yeah, James is good, and he's cheap. He he does stuff a little different from what I would. But he's funny though. He, you know, if you got to take once your oil change, you got to go get your oil and filter and everything. Yeah. He he's not gonna call an order, no filter, no oil, or nothing. You got to go get all that stuff. But yeah, he, uh, he says, terrible design. He said, but I love it though. I mean, look outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James is a good dude. He's yeah, funny. Yeah, he is. What you got up there in that cardboard box? This was a bunch of stuff. I was cleaning out my shop a little bit. And uh, 
wire wheel for a crud thug. You seen oh, the crud yeah, thug with the were bad, yeah. This was in, well, this is some of the stuff I had in one of the empty boxes. That's bad when you just have wrenches laying around in empty boxes. You know you got too much money when you got snap-on wrenches just thrown around, don't even know, <laughs> don't even have them accounted for. Yeah. Now, I did inventory a couple months ago, and they, yeah, these didn't even get accounted for. None of this got accounted for. Come to find out, then I had all kind of empty box. I mean, all kind of these uh, bunch money, of tools in there. Money bags. Money, I bet I found 40 packs of snap on bits. That's $40 worth of bits right there, and I got 40 packs of them. <laughs> that tells you you got too much money, son. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, the, here's a Mac trade in wrench. Twenty millimeter. That's an odd size, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, we I was going through a bunch of this stuff. All kind of stuff. Made that for weld art. I think. Been needing a good knife put up here for sale. I can't even get them no more. <laughs> That's like the one I got, except mine's got red. Yeah, red yeah on it. the yeah. red and black ones. Or the solid it red. It comes with got... a screwdriver set or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember how it comes. But... Yeah, yeah, it was a six piece set, I think, wasn't it? I can't remember. I remember that's why I bought it, just for the knife. Yeah. Like the a knife dummy. cost about as much as the screwdriver set did. <laughs> yeah. Dumb, ain't it? Yeah. That snap on marketing work now. There's another bag of them. Too much money. And I was like, my wife was helping me. She's like, what in the crap do you got these things for? I said, them things are gold, if you know what they are. Anybody know what these are? I got a couple of them in here, different sizes. Here's a different one. I don't even know if I know what that is. There's a different one. I'm trying to think. Oh, that must go in the spark plug sockets. Yep. Okay. I recognize the the ridges on that's what give it away for yep. me. And there's a. Yeah. Man, look how smart I am. I Replacement started, boots on spark plug sockets. I want to start a YouTube channel or something. Start talking <laughs> about tools. <laughs> Be, do some educational videos or something cool like that. You know? Lucky guess, wouldn't it? Would help people out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I found a whole bunch of these, and um. Uh, She's probably like, why you got this garbage in here? Yeah, she's gonna throw them away. She's like, is this all garbage? I said, heck no, they make garbage things like six dollars a piece for them rubber plugs. Rubber plugs. And I said, but it's cheaper than buying a forty or fifty or some of them. Well, these are here probably seventy or eighty dollar sockets. Yeah. Because they don't want you that part on them. That's true. Well, we're gonna have to get my hog ring put on man pack yeah. finally. I, I said that's kind of funny. You warranted out my Matco <laughs> hog ring. And Matco helped us out on the... the we put a snap-on hog ring on my Matco impact, Hamilton did. And now we're fixing to put a Matco hog ring on the uh, snap-on impact. Snap-on impact. I just got to show you, everybody, how much me and Michael try to work together on stuff. Yep. People think y'all should be enemies for some reason. I like old Michael. Yeah. He ain't never done me wrong that I'm aware of, so I ain't got no problem with the dude, you know? That's what I said. I said, I got the best two dealers out of anybody. Thought that sucker popped on and it didn't. I ain't got a red one up there that ain't got one on it either. What's up with that? Everybody's no, they got one on there. Oh, it's just little? This was, I found this in there in one of them boxes too. Apparently, I bought this one because we couldn't get a demo at the time. I remember ordering it, and because uh, I tried to order a quarter-inch demo impact because yeah. I didn't have one, and uh, then I bought this one, and I just wrote demo on it and everything, so and I was marked inside of them so people could see. Mm -hmm. um, it's been used a few times, but I cleaned it up the other day with the trusty old uh, tub of towels. Tub of towels. Go to show how clean. I mean, you can see there's some marks on there and stuff. 
So this thing can wipe an ugly woman with them tub of towels and she'll win a beauty contest. It'd, it'd help her out, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, you see it's been used, but you can see what the tub of towels did to it. It even almost wiped my demo thing off of it, but yeah, this was in there. They will take permanent marker off if you keep, if you'll put the juice on there and let it set a yeah. second, it'll take it off. Well, I mean, I just wiped over it, just, I mean, it probably wasn't a two minute mm -hmm. wipe on there. And so one of the guys on the truck, I showed him how good they work because he wanted, they bought two cases of them. And um, he's like, dang, this one, get that permanent marker off of it. it I will. said, yes, it yeah. will. So now I'm going to write it back on there though when I was. <laughs> yep. That's they, so wipe it off. I said, they handy for sure. Like that table where that little blue U.S. General box is in there? Yeah. It's got that stainless top. I write stuff on it with a, with a, um, a permanent marker. Yeah. And then, uh, man, you can take that tub of time. Just, it, it works just like a dry erase marker. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing to it. It makes a whole lot easier. Yep. I'll have to quit talking to you where you can get that done. I'll, I got to remember to put the screwdriver from where to hold that sucker. Piece of junk. Darn snap on crap. Can't have nothing nice no more. It's because it's a Matco hog ring, that's what it is. <laughs> they ain't want to get down there very tight. Oh, that's operator area for sure. Bam. Got on there that time. Like a brand new one. There we go. Like a brand new impact. Huh? Good as new now. How about that? Why well, buy a new impact? You can just get it. Get a new hog ring. That'll work. It's the best thing Snap on ever built right there. Oh, these little impacts are great. Mm -hmm. I Everybody use talks about the Milwaukee and all that. And I don't care if it's stronger. I like the lightweight, the ease to get in and out of places with that, and oh, yeah. the rocker trigger. Well, that's like the, uh, I had a little 3-8 stubby on here this morning, the Milwaukee one. Mm -hmm. And I got the guy, he's a diehard Milwaukee guy. He wants all Milwaukee stuff. Ain't no problem. I see whatever you want to, you know. And I ship it off when it breaks, too, just like with anything else. But, um, I mean, they're so much bigger compared to, well, this is the quick change, but the same thing. Yeah. I mean, so much bigger. Yeah, I man, it may be a little stronger, but it is stronger. Like, you know, and I'll be honest with you, that 2767 right there says it'll do 1,400 foot pounds. I know for a fact I did it. It will do 1,400 foot pounds, mm -hmm. no questions asked. Now the Snap-on, I think it was 900. What it said? Yep. I figure it'll do 900. Yep. But that's what they do. Out of all the ones we tested that day, Milwaukee was the only one that did what it claimed it could do. Yeah. And some of them was highly, highly over-exaggerated. <laughs> like, they multiplied it. I think some of them even squared it. <laughs> <laughs> it was half of it forward and half of it in reverse, wasn't but it? Milwaukee did it, you know. But Yeah, I remember the video. It didn't like it, but it did it, though. It did it. Now, something broke in it, but it still did it. I you know, seen, it wouldn't do 1450. There's been a lot of videos, I mean, online where you see them. I mean, and we done it here. Take off big truck tires with the Milwaukee one. We done it with the Snap-on yeah. one out here. Well, that Milwaukee, it'll eat you know. a big truck wheel up, no yeah. problem. You know, I don't know about the Snap-on. We'll, we'll put it through its paces and try it out and see. We're going to do it during the warranty period, and that way you can <laughs> Ship take <it> care <laughs> of it. <laughs> like, all right, when's that date bad again? When, when I gotta start paying for it, okay. If I need ship to That's when you up. use it like a real half inch should be used at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Got the service I, calls. What is that? No, 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 no. That's above, above a one inch. We gotta get the three quarter inch in backed out. <laughs> we got one of them too on a demo. 18 volt one. Look at there. That's three quarter inch. Didn't y'all, y'all got a one inch too, don't you? Like I, I, yeah, I think so. Mm. I, yeah, I think we got a one inch. 
I know that one inch snap on impact is a bad <laughs> Yeah, the air one. Yeah. You remember that day you brought that demo in there and you said, mm -hmm. try that? And I wouldn't even let you have it back. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, nah, this ain't going nowhere. He said, that's the demo. I got to get it back. I'll order you one. I said, you can have this one back when mine comes in. <laughs> sure did. There it is right there. I wouldn't let it leave. That yeah. sucker's been through the paces now. Yeah, that's it. But it stayed here, and, and uh, I told you, I said, I want one of them. Yeah. If you was going to take it with you, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that's when uh, like, I saw. I'm going to hold this ransom. <laughs> I sold quite a few of them like, like that, just putting it in the shop. Because that's what I told you. I mean, it's not, the strong, it's not as strong as this one. This J Mac, which is made by Angus R. Rand. Yeah. That one's rated for like 2,500 foot pounds. Ours is rated for 1,800 foot pounds. That gun weighs 38 pounds. Our gun only weighs 18 pounds. Well, you know what's funny? When I first started, my budget was extremely low. Yeah. You remember, I wouldn't even pay $150 for a light at that point. I remember the first time we started talking about tow boxes, I thought we'd we'll have to carry you off the truck in a stretcher. Yeah. Sure enough. <laughs> But I mean, I was focused on getting what I needed to make on money tools. with first, yep. you know. So uh, I, I talked to Hamilton a little bit about prices on impact, and I went to Harbor Freight and I bought me a one inch impact. I think it was like less than $300. Yeah. And it worked fine. I just didn't like, the only thing I didn't like about it, the trigger was on the outside of it. You'd bump it a lot of times, not meaning to. So I made do with that for about a year. And then I went and bought that Ingersoll Rand at Napa. It was like five and some change, I think. So I put the Snapper or the the uh, Harbor Freight one. I threw it in a service truck and was going to use the Ingersoll Rand in the shop. Now, granted, that the Harbor Freight one never got old or anything. Like we traded it like a uh, it was bad. Like yeah. we treated it like dirt. <laughs> Because we already had the Ingersoll ran, it didn't really matter. Well, within four months, the Ingersoll ran had to get shipped off because it quit working. And we actually took care of it. We oiled it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I remember it. Every time they you let them use it, they'd put oil in it for the hook to do it. And then uh, that's when we got the snap on when it was sent off. And we ended up using the the uh, snap on in the shop. Well, the Ingersoll, I mean, the old Harbor Freight still in the service truck. And I bet it ain't been old in at least a year and it's still <laughs> kicking like it worked better than the Ingersoll ran for us I'll just throw that out there like yeah. people can dog Harbor Freight and we've dogged Harbor Freight and this and that but that has been one tool from Harbor Freight that's been really good well you're talking about the one inch I got a shop in Iuka that uh they got a one inch Harbor Freight that earthquake I think what he said it is he said now that's something heavy but it takes two people to hold it yeah. Said, but there's not a boat that they put it on yet that is not taken off. I let him use the snap-on one for two weeks. And he told me, he said, when the Harbor Freight one goes down, he said, I'm going to buy a snap-on one. He said, because just the weight difference itself. Mm -hmm. he said, well, that's it what it. sold me on the snap-on was it was much lighter. And, uh, yeah. And that's what, I mean, when we sell them, and I explain down here, we don't claim to have the strongest one out there. Mm -hmm. Now, we used to have a Blue Point one that had over 4,000 foot-pounds. Now, it weighed like 48 pounds. It was a yeah. big old heavy sucker. But, I mean, it was stout. But the snap on one is 18 pounds, 1800 foot pounds. And that's what uh, we try to celebrate off the convenience and the weight, not right. having to strain so hard yeah. on using them. And that's true. I mean, they worked. I sold a bunch of them. Very good impacts. 4,000 foot pounds of hoffs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, think, I wouldn't think about the 4,000. I'd be thinking about the 48 pounds having to tote that yeah. sucker around. That's the well, hoff part. You know, that darn. Harbor Freight one, it ain't no light joker like nah, you. I think it's somewhere around 40 pounds. You better make so. sure you eat some biscuits and gravy that morning before you stretch it across <laughs> that 120 foot shop pulling that, yeah. that half one inch, inch arrow, cord. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, but, yeah. all right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to play Hamilton, get her impact, and uh, look for that Super Bowl weekend this weekend. I think I'm going to start tonight. Celebrating already? Yeah, yeah. Or pre-drinking either either team that wins is is great so i, I hope brady wins but i'll be happy either way i like both teams i seen a meme the other day that's an nfl meme and had two pictures it had a picture of a big goat older goat and a picture of a little baby goat at the bottom of the hill and that said super bowl sunday <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's, that's probably right. about the most accurate picture i've seen yep. yet that's true all right guys well like always 
thanks for watching. We got the Montezuma 10% off. It's uh, the discount code and stuff's going to be in the description. Be sure to check it out if you want a Montezuma triangle box or any stuff that they have. Right now, you can save 10%. They're doing us a pretty cool solid because we got to meet those guys up there. So if you're looking for something from them, be sure to click that link. Save some money. All right, guys. Hit the thumbs up. Merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you press that button. Just click it. That's easy. That's it. See ya.